Come on, baby, eat more. Come on, hurry up. Come on, baby. We gotta leave here in the next five minutes. I'm trying. It's a lot hotter than it looks. Well, we're already running late and we got a flight to catch. We can't leave any of the bosses still behind. Hurry up. There's only one left. I can't eat anymore. I'll puke. All right. I might as well try it. You know me, I'm your friend, your main boy, thick and thin. I'm your pusher man. I'm your pusher man. Yeah. Okay. And what time was he admitted at? At St. Michael's? Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm actually going to head over there right now. Yep. See you on Tuesday. Where's my car? Excuse me? Where is my car? I don't know. Did George send you? Who's George? Who are you? I'm a lawyer. Look, you were in a bad accident last night. A drunk driver hit you, and I think there's a lot of money that can be made off your case. With that money, you can buy yourself a new car that's not as beat up. Listen, man. I need you to get to the impound lot. And I need you to get my car, okay? It's the only thing that I need you to do for me. Okay, your car is totaled. What am I supposed to do, just tow it to the hospital? Come on, guy. Listen to me, man. Get my car and take it to this address. Take it to this address, okay? Okay, I... Uh... I don't know if you didn't hear me. I'm a lawyer. Yeah, you're my lawyer, and if you want to get paid, you'll do what I say. You're late. You're supposed to be here at six. Help me push this car into the garage. Uh, actually, I'm just Mike's lawyer. Mike was in an accident. He's not one of my clients. Mike? Yeah, Mike. So you were for Mike, then? I mean, yeah. You could say that. If you work for Mike, then you work for me. Push this car into the garage. Hand me the keys. What did Mike tell you? To get this car and bring it here? And you don't know why? You haven't looked in the car. Why would I? I just told you I'm his lawyer. <laughs> oh man, you are in for a surprise. Oh my god! Is that a dead woman? You ready for surgery? This little lady's got the boss's smack in her stomach. 
We got to get it out. No, oh, no, man. I'm a lawyer. You got the wrong guy. Look, man. You work for Mike now. And Mike works for George. And George is the biggest drug lord in the city. Now, I shouldn't have to spell this out for you. You already know too much. You got up in a bad situation, Mr. Lawyer. And you know the law. You're already party to a crime. You helped with the disposal of a dead body, so there's only one way out of this. You help me get George's drugs out of this broad stomach, or I call George and he sends someone to kill you, and, well, everyone you love. Now believe me when I say that there's not a place on earth you could hide to escape his wrath. Now sack up and let's get to work. The quicker we start, the quicker we finish. Hey, hand me that sawzall. Happy birthday, George. You did good today, kid. I'm gonna go call the boss. What's good? Yeah, boss. <laughs> My man, Larry. So how'd it go? Well, a little messy, but isn't it always? Yeah, you ain't lying. All right, man, well, uh, bring it to the hangout in a little bit. Yeah, I was going to tell you, the guy, Mike, who was supposed to bring the car by, he got in an accident or something, sent his lawyer by. What do you want me to do about him? You say he's his lawyer? Yeah. I'll pay him a visit, see if he's on our side. In the meanwhile, we gotta take care of this dude, Mike. I mean, he is not worth half of the trouble he caused me. This dude is a plague. That's twice he ain't tied the bags right. <sighs> Carrie. Man, she was a good girl. Eight clean runs, and this dude kills her. <sighs> he gotta go. I'ma send a reaper for him. Yeah, well, that's the nature of the business, isn't it, Georgie boy? All right, when do you want me to stop by? I got to run down to the south side for a little bit. Why don't we say about uh, 7, 7.30? Yeah, all right, Larry, yeah. We did it, baby. <laughs> I don't feel so good. You all right? I don't think so. She's dead. All right, we just go to plan B. We can't gut her here, so we gotta take her to a safe location. I got a friend, I can call him, he'll be able to sympathize with our situation. Well, since it is real early and I'm not a man to wake someone, your girl, you'll be taking her in your car. Of course, with your drugs. What? Who didn't tie the bags right? Never mind. Like I said, so load her up in the car. I'll write the address down, and you call me when you get there. Just leave the car in the driveway. Well, how am I supposed to get home? I don't know. Walk. Catch a cab. That's not my problem.
Do you know who I am? No. I'm George, the boss. I'm sure you heard of me. <laughs> I... I have? It's in your best interest to forget what happened a couple days ago. Now, it's my understanding that Mike's owe you some money for your services. <laughs> it, it's, it's cool, man. No big deal. How much? It, it's, it's fine. No big deal. No, oh, everybody needs money. Nonsense. Here's a couple stacks. That should cover it. Now, if I have to come back here, I'm going to have to use this 